Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to Purity. My name is Kimmy. This is Aaron. He's opening a package right now. Is that for you or for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, funny thing is, y'all would have already seen this video, so I think it's fine to say. Um, the video we did with Patio World where we had the deck boxes, we showed y'all like, oh, like someone delivering packages could put the products in the deck box. And guess what? He said he put it in the box. And we have no sign out there that says anything. It was just an idea we had. So I haven't thought to like leave a note yet. Because yeah, you know when you order something, especially on Amazon, you can write in a note for the driver. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. What'd you get? Mouse pad, okay. Because <laughs> he's getting his Christmas present early. I've already gotten mine too. But I haven't even told y'all what we're doing today. So of course cleaning is going to be in this video because I'm a cleaning person. But um, also right now we're going to go to TJ Maxx. I want to get two gifts for two friends that I have. And I also want to look at their candles because I thought about placing an order on Bath and Body Works. But y'all, they're 12 bucks even when they're on sale. They're $13. So I thought... Why not spend seven instead? So we're gonna go to your max. Probably get a couple of candles, um, a couple of gifts, and I know we need dish liquid. I don't know if they're gonna have Dawn dish liquid, <laughs> but they may have some sort of dish liquid. I don't know. And oh, that reminds me, we're not completely out. I also want to see if they have any multi-surface cleaners because I. I'm running on fumes here. It's up. It's somewhere. It's over there. I'll show you how much I have left. So this is some dish liquid. The rose scent. And it works. Dawn, Dawn Platinum is the favorite though. Anyway, this is the last bottle I have. And honestly, once it gets to this point, I don't know if this happens with y'all. But that's the only negative I could say about this bottle. It's once you get to the bottom... When you go to spray, it acts like it don't want anything to come out. So, even though there's still some in there, it's really like, unless I add water, it ain't budging. <laughs> but, anyways, I need some Starbucks in my belly. And I need some TJ Maxx therapy. Show them your glasses. They're orange. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It looks kind of dark, but they're actually really bright orange. No, I'm not outside. You ready to go? I guess. He's gonna drive there. Only because it did snow and I'm worried about my driving. <laughs> but once we're on the road, then we'll know if there's even anything to worry about at all. And I'll drive back if there's not. So this morning, our whole entire yard was covered in snow. But now it's just right here. All the snow's gone. So the road should be pretty safe, I think. So I'm looking for Christmas gift ideas. And I see these. Which are really cute. Mixing bowls. $14.99. That's not bad at all. They also have this uh, disposable serving set. They have a ton of these, which would be nice. They also have tea sets. What's this back here? Oh, boba set. Um, also just noticed this. That's really pretty. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to get this. Now, I'm just deciding if I want to get the other one the same thing. Like, look at this one, Erin. It's gold. That may be the one I saw over there. Because I had grabbed this. It's not the name brand. So, it's a big difference in price. 
I have a feeling this one's yeah I feel like this one is for the one I wasn't sure of you know what I mean without telling them who it is that we're talking about <laughs> just in case they watch so I'm gonna put this back yeah I spotted some Valentine's Day decor already <laughs> look at these reefs how pretty Oh, this would match with my living room. Oh no, I don't want any decor. I'm just showing them. Maybe I'm behind, but I've never seen this before. And that's pretty neat to have it in the basket. They've got this up here too. Oh, it's got some berries. A lot of gingerbread stuff. They didn't have hardly anything out the last time we came. He's cute. I just spotted this village house right here. Wait, it's got a train set. Oh look, Cardinals. I like this Santa too. The Santa's having fun. I don't need it. It is only $14.99, but I had to show y'all just in case any of you are into that. I am so into this. Oh, that's cute too. They're pretty. This is a three piece king, king size, y'all. Um, it's got cardinals on it. So pretty. So, we got done shopping. I got a lunch number four. It's a chili relleno with rice and beans and a taco. Aaron got the quesadilla texana with no beans and no red sauce. All right, y'all, we are back home. This is going to be multiple days of video. So tomorrow I'm going to show y'all everything we got, get those wrapped, and then start on the cleaning. All right, y'all, it's the next day, and I have a few things that I got for myself and a few things that I got for friends and family so we'll just start here I think y'all saw these in the shopping portion but there are two items here that I don't think we showed y'all in the shopping portion but I got two of these grace tea wear tea time gift sets there's seven pieces it includes two teacups two saucers um, two porcelain handle stainless steel spoons and I just thought this was so pretty because it comes with the tea kettle now I didn't even think about this I don't know if this is a tea kettle you can use or it's just one that's pretty that you pour the hot water into because I have I have actually had one of those before um, I had gotten one from Royal market thinking that it was the one that I could use on the oven I'm on the stove and it was not <laughs> so um but hopefully these are usable hopefully but either way it's really pretty and I know they like to kind of romanticize life like romanticize the mundane everyday things so when they're making their tea coffee hot chocolate whatever really they want to make um they'll be able to kind of fancify it a little bit and these were a pretty good deal $24.99 and I think a lot of um like the what are they called white elephant <laughs> is that the party where you exchange gifts because I remember when I worked at Sally's we did a party where you you exchange gifts and the limit was $25 so I think that's kind of right in with that so if you have something like that or you just want a gift idea for a friend or family member I think these are awesome and they also I showed y'all they had the tea the tea in the packaging so I got one of them the polka dots and it is for a specific one because I think she'll like the polka dots better and then I got the other one 
the floral because it's super feminine and I think they'll love it. So, pretty excited about that. Now, the few things I got for me, one I'm wearing right now, it's this Rachel Zoe sweater. It's super soft, um, like super soft. And it came with this headband, so I thought that was super cute. And this is one of my colors. If y'all have done your like color wheel matching, this is a color that looks good on me. So I got it. They had a lot of white, red, black sweaters, but I really liked this light blue sweater. So TJ Maxx. Next thing, um, oh, I did grab two candles as well. So we'll light one of these in a minute this one is the woodland pine goodies so it smells like um pine trees and then this one which i also really liked it's more of a masculine vibe but it's tobacco and vanilla so it's got tobacco leaf herbal wood amber vanilla and ginger and it's by a brand called sensationals and i love it has a wood wick and it smells so good. This is the one I'm going to light after we get done cleaning up the kitchen, which is pretty much halfway clean. Last night, I told myself after I got off with y'all, I, I wanted to be like, got off the phone with y'all. Because that's what it feels like over here on my channel. Um, when I got off the phone with y'all, um, I did do my dishes and I started on the laundry. So, now all I have to do is put away dishes and then there are a couple that I'm made dirty so anyways cleaning is just one of those things that it's every day and why not enjoy it so we're going to enjoy ourselves while we're cleaning later on today so the next item erin actually picked out both of these and i thought they were great ideas so this one is an air hockey table and it's by the nhl and he just felt that it was really good quality. They did have a few of them there, but he ended up wanting to get this one. And the plan for this is it's a gift for kind of the whole family. Like the, the kids that are getting this, it is for all of them to enjoy, not just one of them to enjoy because it is a game and it's a big gift. So it's for all of them. And then to be fair, since we did um, have a price for each child, like from both sides of our family, there's, do y'all see the spider? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know if y'all can see him or not, but he's just hanging over here like that, man. Where's he at? Oh. <laughs> I told you I'm not crazy. I ain't seeing things. That's really there. <laughs> and he can just enjoy himself, I guess, while we're finishing this up. <laughs> and hopefully he'll go back to the ceiling. And uh, I'll forget all about this incident that's happening. It's a jumping spider. I'm kind of surprised he's even out and about this time of year. Because it's really cold. So he must be... He's really wanting to steal the show. Oh, look. He's going down further, so you are about to see him. <laughs> He's like right there. What you doing? What you doing? You want the chair? I got a chair right here. Maybe he'll try to, oh, there he goes. Go to the chair. There you, oh, you got it, sir. You got it. You made it to the chair. All right, I'm not moving my camera, but at least now he's on the chair and not up here. But his his line is still up there, so I might have a little fellow on my back later on today because I'll forget that he was even here. Um, all right. So one of the girls, we went to her birthday party and I gave her her Christmas gift for her birthday party because I did not have time to go out and get a new gift just for her birthday party. So I gave her the gift that I, we had did a video where I showed y'all gifts that you could get for family that is like super affordable. And it was all kids, I think, um, that I did that day. 
and we did like a 10 to 15 dollar budget on each of them so erin saw this minecraft piggy bank so she can put her money in the piggy bank and some of y'all may be like minecraft it's for a girl girls love minecraft she every time we go to their house it's minecraft she's playing minecraft and then she has like her friends in the corner i guess because you can hear kids talking back to her so it's very engaging anyway she would love this and it was only ten dollars so if you've got a kid in your family that loves minecraft tj maxx did have this minecraft item at least i don't know if we saw any more but um another idea is normally when we go to a place like tj maxx there's a ross there may be a Marshalls close by. Like, they're always, it's like the CVS of Walgreens. If you see one, you're going to see another. So, we lucked out at TJ Maxx. But we had thought about, well, if we don't find something here, we'll just walk a few stores down and go into the Ross. So, great places to look for gifts that are affordable. That can be big, you know? Because, of course, when I was a kid... It, to me, it, I didn't know the value of a dollar. I just knew that, oh, it's big. That's cool. <laughs> and maybe I'm the only one out there that thought that way. But that's how I thought. It could have been five bucks. I wouldn't care. It was just big. And that was exciting. So, I like that they have big gifts that aren't big on your wallet. Anywho, because this, I don't even know if I told you. But there's four kids. And this was $30. So if you did split it up between the four, that's a really good deal. It's like, what, six bucks per kid, seven bucks per kid, not much at all. But that's our haul. So actually, we're probably gonna wrap these up. So I'm gonna put all this stuff in the living room. And then later on in today's video, after I get done cleaning, we can go ahead and get all these wrapped up and get their name tags on them and stick them under the Christmas tree, especially for my girls, my friends. I don't know when we're gonna meet up. One of them mentioned meeting up to exchange gifts and I'm like, okay, I don't mind doing that. It depends on where it is because neither one of my friends live close to me. So, you know, it's like a driving thing. Um, and y'all know how I'm about driving. I get irritated to drive everywhere. <laughs> so, either they'll get mailed out or they'll be hand delivered. But either way, we're going to wrap them up. Although these boxes are super pretty, it's clear so you can see what's in it. We'll wrap them up, make it nice and everything. Anywho, I'm going to get these in the living room. And we're going to just start cleaning. How I clean is... I just start picking up stuff. If I see a mess, it's getting picked up. Trash, then stuff, then you're like sweeping, mopping, wiping down the counters. That's kind of how I do it. <laughs> to have fun while I'm cleaning up this mess today. I have been listening because I have it on YouTube, but it, I'm just listening as I'm doing stuff. Um, I've been going between the Dave Ramsey show and videos of the Shark Tank people, the people that do the deals. Not really the actual show, but interviews with them to like learn stuff anyways it's been fun so i'm going to be listening to that while i get all this cleaning done today
Mm, I don't know if I've already told y'all this or it was Erin that I was telling, but I did buy countertop paint. So I got one of them is in white. The other one is in black, but they're both specifically for painting your countertops. They seal. You don't have to sand anything. You literally just go to town with the paint. So I'm really excited for that to come in the mail so we can do this project because ever since I did the black backsplash, I have just not liked the way the blue looks up against it. It just throws me off. So I'm really excited to get that in the mail. That way we can get a home project done soon. And I got the black to do like a very faint marbling throughout. But also I got some gold foil paint. So it looks like it's just a tube of fairy polish. And then I can very like lightly go through the veins and hopefully it will turn out really good but um i'm excited to do it so stay tuned for that Okay, are we committing a crime? I think not. Um, I'm down to the bottom of this Caldrea countertop spray. And I don't want to really waste it, you know. So I'm just adding a little bit of water in there. I'm going to mix it up or shake it up. And we're just going to keep using it until it doesn't work. <laughs> I won't add more water in it later. But um, I just want to get out a little bit more use than what's left in the bottle. But I know, I'm pretty sure my mom has done this with hand soap. <laughs> if you have a little bit of hand soap left, just throw a little water in there and shake it up. You'll be just fine. My fridge has not been really cleaned out in at least a week. So we're going to go ahead and tackle that now. We've got a lot of drinks just hanging out in the kitchen. So I'm going to declutter, take anything out that's gone bad or leftovers, uh, consolidate. So I, there's this tube right here with a little bit of lunch meat left in it. I just added it to the other one and then this is just empty. Now I did throw mine away. But I know there's a lot of people that use those as Tupperware and it basically is Tupperware. So if you ever have any lunch meat containers that you want to use as Tupperware, 
go ahead and do that. I think you can even take the label off of the lid if you really wanted to. And then it's going to look just like Tupperware. My hair color difference is really noticeable in this clip, so I figured I would just share a little bit of what's going on. So, I dyed my hair probably two or three weeks ago now at Burgundy. And at the time, I ordered one set. They were 70 grams of human hair extensions. That way, I could curl them like I did today. And it was not enough. <laughs> As thin as my own hair is, um, that was just not enough. My hair looked a lot thicker. So I ended up ordering another set, but I went with 120 grams this time. And it's a lot fuller. Like, I love these. And they are more affordable than the ones I used to sell at Sally's. And they're all human hair. So the fridge is organized now. I threw my oranges in there just to kind of preserve them a little bit longer. And now we're going to restock the pets uh food um anyway so the my hair through washes has already faded into more of like an auburn color up next to these extensions that are burgundy but i'm not about to go out there and put more dye on my hair because it's just been too short of a time frame but um I did think about getting a semi-gloss, which basically is going to tint your hair, but it's going to come out in the wash. Like, it's not a semi-permanent. It's not permanent. Nothing like that. So, it's not going to last very long. But I figured I would just let it go a little bit longer before I either do a semi-gloss or I just go get more permanent hair dye. Because I always need to touch up my roots anyways. But um, as I'm stocking these drinks, earlier um, as I was doing it, I just had this feeling of gratitude because I remember a time, not too long ago really, it was like a little bit longer than a year ago. Um, there was no cabinet full of drinks at anyone's disposal. There was a lot of sweet tea being made. Um, water and then uh Aaron would get the like Dr. Perkies because at the time they were only two dollars and like 79 cents for a 12 pack but of course with inflation even those started going up to 3.99 so anyways there's some trash in the hallway we're gonna get to that but I'm gonna do this laundry in this basket first and then I'll go to the laundry room because I've got some more clothes that I need to stick in the dr the basket ah anyways y'all um yeah so like it we didn't have a whole bunch of sodas or drinks at our disposal like we do now and i just felt grateful that um that's even possible and i feel like it's good to have those moments where like even having soda is something that can be taken for granted and knowing that there was a time that I didn't have it it's like I should be really grateful for having anything that I have like a full refrigerator there was a lot of times where our refrigerator wasn't full and like 99.9% of the time our deep freezer was pretty much empty and all it had in it was like bait for Aaron to fish so thank you for watching our videos because if it weren't for y'all that i wouldn't have these things um that i am grateful for so i just appreciate you
If y'all are watching this with me, because I know a lot of you are probably up and doing stuff and have this on in the background, but if you were watching that, I, I thought that it was just a folded dog pad because they come, you know, with a blue outside lining and they're folded up. So you just see like a blue rectangle. So I went to go pick it up and it's this like random blue piece of foam board like i don't even know where it came from so i just put it back because i don't know if aaron put it there if it came out of a like a, the patio well boxes that come in they have a bunch of layers and stuff so i'm like did it come out of there i don't know where that thing came from and y'all will notice i didn't actually take the trash outside because um it was a moment of we're not gonna do it now but i do I do want to impress upon you to do things now when you can. But, you know, sometimes we ain't doing it right now. We're going to do it later. <laughs> Y'all, I would never be a good comedian because I laugh at the things I say. And it's like, you ain't funny anymore. You, you done went and throw it all away. You know you have crossed a path into adulthood you didn't know existed. Whenever you go from collecting socks, like fuzzy cute socks with cute little graphics on them, like a, like a monkey or a panda bear or like some hearts for Valentine's Day. Anyway, snowflakes for Christmas, all the jazz. And then you go to collecting microfiber cloths and kitchen towels. <laughs> We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Oh, keep telling myself that I should let go But I hold on and oh. I will have y'all know that I picked this song out because of the beat I really don't know what she's talking about by being on the floor. <laughs> I'm still here. I just had a moment of weakness. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back the giggles. Can y'all feel them? <laughs> Can you feel them? I feel them. I feel the air. <laughs> when you laugh, do you kind of bounce up? Because <laughs> I do. I put my whole stomach into it. Sad love. We got that fun love. We got that young love. Yeah, 
it is time to wrap some Christmas presents. So I um, had cut, you know, sometimes when you'll cut something, you'll have like just this random L shape in the wrapping paper. So I cut that excess off. Um, and then I realized this was all that was left in the wrapping roll. <laughs> so I've got a few different rolls of wrapping paper I'm going to use today and I'll show y'all each one as I use them but they were all from Dollar Tree so they're all like a dollar 25 a piece but actually aside from this one the other ones came out to a dollar a piece because there was five in a pack and it was only five dollars Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that. So this wrapping paper was posted notes and or posted notes. Oh my goodness, y'all know what they are, stamps and stuff. But this one we're going to be using for the gift that they're all going to be sharing. And it's got these gold reindeer on them with different types of scarves. So there's one with a striped scarf and then there's one with like polka dotted scarves. So I thought they would like that. I am playing a little bit of Christmas music in today's video, but since there's only so many songs to go around, I feel like these songs are on repeat right now, especially in the like homemaking and decorating videos. So that's why I've been adding some just regular music too, but I figured since we're wrapping gifts, might as well throw some Christmas music in there. And um, this package was so big, it took the whole entire roll of wrapping paper. But honestly, to find a gift bag for a dollar would would probably be impossible so i think we still ended up doing good even though we used the entire roll so that's just one thing to note with dollar tree wrapping paper is it doesn't go very far but honestly it does a good job like it's not the best quality but it is good enough um it's it's worth the dollar you know some stuff isn't worth a dollar but <laughs> Wrapping paper is definitely one of those that is. And y'all, I'm just using masking tape. It's really easy to, to like rip open. Um, and I just could not find the clear packing tape. So anyways, we lucked out. But I was going to tell y'all, I spent so much time today taking the price tag stickers off the, the boxes. And I went back to my office to find my Scotty Peelers and I could not find them. But if you need something to get the uh, price tags off of packages, get you some Scotty Peelers. I'll link the ones I have um, in the description box because they would have been so helpful for me today. And then the, the name tags are also from Dollar Tree. This next wrapping paper is green and I thought it would go great with the floral tea set because it has the gr like dark green leaves on it. So when they open it, it like matches their gift. And I'm going to do the same thing for the white and gold polka dot um, tea set. They're going to get a uh, white wrapping paper. Cold, 
This one says all the merry and it's going to go great with our white and gold um, tea set. It comes in this like dark, it almost looks like a charcoal color box. So it blends well with the um, reefs. And um, I wish this paper had some gold on it because that would really do the trick. Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy. And the way you go, baby, don't you know? There's a remedy, remedy, remedy. Yeah, yeah, it's a remedy, remedy. Yeah. Oh no, darling, boy, you so ain't gonna lose ya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, darling, boy, you so ain't gonna lose ya. I am completely done with Christmas this year. Everything's ready to go. It's December 4th, which is the first time that has ever happened for us. We are always last minute people, but this year we actually came prepared. So... It has been a long two days of a lot of fun together with y'all and I am ending the day with some hot cocoa. So I had this leftover powder from Food Lion and it's a hot cocoa mix and I'm just going to add some of that. It said one fourth a cup so I kind of eyeballed it and does it, do y'all's marshmallows do this because mine have been sticking together. <laughs> Anyways, I threw in some marshmallows. I am just going to run hot Hot water through so I don't put anything in the K cup section um, and I just put 10 ounces of water and then I just stir it up when it's done and y'all this was so good I think I put a little bit more powder than I needed because it was super chocolatey but um it's 40 degrees outside right now so I may end up having another one of these before I go to bed but I hope y'all have enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Subscribe if you made it this far. And uh, like the video. Share it with a friend. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.